Good morning. It is good to be with you today. All week long we've been talking about anxiety and stress. So today we have some help from several verses in Scripture that helps us, help us understand what to do with this stuff. Because sometimes we carry it around like a backpack. You know, it's just there, an invisible backpack on our shoulders, and it just weighs us down. And we just add more stuff to it every day. And so finally, at some point, we just feel like we're walking stoop-shouldered. We need a cane or a walking stick to hold ourselves up because there's so much stress in our lives, so much busyness, so much fear, so much anxiety, all of those things that the Father just tells us, give them to me. Come, rest in me. Be still before me. In all of our lives, we're like a restless two-year-old who is fighting sleep with all of their might. They're wrestling with it, but it calls them. And when they fight harder and harder, and the tired, the more, the more exhausted they become. And that's what's happening in our lives today. The anger, the frustration, the carelessness, the isms, all of these anxieties and stressors, that the Father gives us a couple keys to help us understand and know how to handle these. So that's what we've been talking about this week. Stress makes us stronger because when we depend upon the Father, the Father brings us healing because of who He is in us. He says, you know, believe in me, trust in me. Today we go to Peter. Because Peter knows a lot about stress. So 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 to 8, he says this, Humble yourselves under God's mighty hand, that he might lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Be alert. Be sober-minded. Because your enemy, the devil, prowls about like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. You say, what does those three verses have to do with my stress today, my anxiety today? A lot. Why? Because when we humble ourselves before the Father, what that's really saying is, Father, I give you these stressors. Because, Father, they're too big for me. I can't handle them. And so, Father, I give them to you because, Father, I am just depleted. I'm exhausted. I am low. The Father says, I will lift you up. I will restore you. Then he says, cast your anxieties upon him because he loves and cares for you. Cast. Give them to him. That same verse is repeated several times in Scripture. In Ecclesiastes 11.10, it says, then banish anxiety from your heart and cast off troubles, the troubles of your body, for youth and vigor are meaningless. What's the writer saying there? He's saying, get rid of this stuff. Banish them. When they come calling, don't open the door. Cast your anxieties. They're here. Cast them upon the Father. Give them back to Him. Let Him carry them. Carry them. Proverbs 12, 25. Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. Lord, I give you this anxiety. Now, Father, pick me up. Lift me up because, Father, I'm worried. I'm afraid. I'm full of stress. Lord, speak to my heart here. David helps us in Psalm 94. He says this, When anxiety was great in me, your consolation brought me joy. Huh? When anxiety was great in me, when the stressors were upon me, your consolation brought me joy. The Father lifted him up. The Father says, Give me these things. Manage them from your heart. Cast off your troubles that I may have access to you. Cast. Give them to me. Throw them at me. I will catch them. I will receive them. So that your heart isn't weighed down. Your mind isn't weighed down. Your soul is not weighed down. Why? Why? What are the sources of your stress? What are the sources of your anger? 
Yes, we have the COVID-19. Yes, we have all the isms, all the downturns, all of the things, the isolation, all those things that come. What are the sources there? Sometimes these sources are spiritual. And Paul, Peter helps us here. He says, be alert. Be of wise mind, sober mind. But why? Because when we're alert, we know our anxieties are rising. When we're alert, we know that our stress levels are getting to us. Your enemy, the devil, prowls about, seeking someone to devour. Why? Because he's like a roaring lion. When a lion roars, that is simply the whole idea of I'm ready to pounce. I'm ready because what happens is when I roar, you're like a deer in the headlights. Oh my, what do I do? Again, the Father says, cast these things upon me. Because he prowls, he's on the lookout to bring you more anxiety, to bring you more fear, to speak deeply into your heart, your mind. But if you're casting them out, <clears throat> if you're saying no, if you're banishing them from you, it's not that you're being Pollyanna-ish. You're saying, Lord, I need you to sustain me here. Lord, I need you to speak into my heart. Lord, I need your care here. I need your treasure in me to speak and bring health and holiness, wholeness to me. Lord, help me today to give you these anxieties, these fears, these stressors. Because, Father, as I depend upon you, you make me strong. Now, what are some practical things we can do in this? It's very simple. First, find some alone time. I know. And by alone time, I don't mean go veg in front of this TV. No, some time where you can be with the Father to meditate and let Him speak to you, to bring healing to your soul, to speak gently to you, to give you strong encouragement. When these things show up, number two, when these things show up, go to God on the spot. Father, I'm, I'm, I'm here, here. Lord, help me here. Because, Lord, I'm, I'm, I feel my feelings getting the best of me. Lord, I feel my anger rising. Lord, I feel my stress levels overtaking me. Talk to the Father right then and there. Give them to him. Then the next one is simply this. Exercise. Get out and move. Do some things that are going to help you, that are going to help you go back and forth, that are going to help you understand what the Father's doing. Move. Just as I was just doing. Move. Why? Because when we move, it releases the endorphins in our body that helps us relax to be still. <clears throat> I know in my own life, if I don't get up and exercise, I'm in bad shape. So that's why I have to make myself get up in the morning and walk. Confession, I haven't done it in two weeks, but i got to make myself do it. Make myself lift weights. Why? Because those are the things that help me control these stressors in my life. And then here's the one. You may not like this one, but I'm going to give it to you. Because it's one way to relieve stress. And it's simply KMS. KMS. Keep my mouth shut. Why? Because there are times when I'm going to give someone a piece of my righteous mind. I'm not giving them a piece of my righteous mind. I'm giving them a piece of my fleshly attitude. Because when we do that, then we give the pe people a piece of our fleshly attitude. We're not being godly. All we're doing is adding to our own stress. But I keep my mouth shut <clears throat> about the issue. Or if I speak truth in love, then I'm relieving stress as opposed to letting it bottle up within me. What does Paul tell us here? I'm sorry, what does Peter tell us again? Be wise. Be alert. Cast your anxieties upon the Father because He cares for you. Banish them from your heart and mind. Then let the Father do His perfect work in you. Jesus, we bless you for this day. And Lord, help us today to cast all of our anxieties upon you. Because, Father, you don't want us to carry them. Because you love and care for us. These things, Lord Jesus, we pray in your holy, 
in mighty and your blessed name.